Oh, okay. I'm Kyle Peck, and this is Cyrex Productions. If you like my videos and reviews, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cyrex Productions. Or you can follow me at facebook.com slash Kyle Peck fan page. In a world where sound means almost absolute death, this next film brings survival horror at its absolute worst, which is actually a very good thing. This is my review of the mostly silent journey, A Quiet Place. A Quiet Place is a horror drama produced by Michael Bay's company Platinum Dunes and directed and starring actor John Krasinski alongside his wife in real life and actress Emily Blunt, which follows a family that must live in silence from creatures that hunt by sound. With 90% of the main events taking place a year after the near-complete extermination of the human race, and arrival of the senseless but hypersensitive and seemingly indestructible creatures known as Death Angels, there is plenty of narrative that explores the film's tension and suspense using mostly silence and sound design. From the mundane activities of eating, walking down creaky stairs, and Monopoly, to the intensely dire stakes of giving birth, or making distractions to veer these creatures off course. Krasinski's work as a writer, executive producer, and director establishes his skills in the film's cinematic technical composition and briefly explaining the rules of the world with small clues branching throughout, like smartly hiding the creatures off-screen for heightened stress and impact until the final act, and allowing audiences time to learn each family member's perspectives and bond over their motives and conflicts. Krasinski's well-praised performance as the father, Lee Abbott, carries his role as a well-intentioned and well-equipped survivalist who not only has technical experience in engineering radios and hearing aids, but also as a family man who gives his all to preserve the family he swore to protect. Emily Blunt as Lee's wife and Dr. Evelyn is utterly convincing throughout her journey in her process of delivering and safeguarding her fourth child, presenting complete awareness and teaching that to her children. Child actor Noah Jupe as the hesitant son Marcus represents the most familiarity and fear-minded similarities of a child towards the world being lived in, even going to the point of him whispering to his mother as he tries so desperately hard not to make a sound. As for deaf teenage actress Millicent Simmons as the daughter Reagan, she is truly the rebellious and riveting showstopper because most of the film revolves around the family communicating through actual sign language and of her unique resolve in overcoming and solving the personal challenges that hugely impact the larger plotline. There were hindrances to this clearly effective 95-minute thriller, including the film heavily relying on the sound cues that are then drowned out by its overpowered music score. And what the creatures hear and when doesn't entirely make sense, but the amount of depth created to make this mostly silent film possible in production and writing make up for its noticeable cracks. All in all, a Quiet Place silently pulls off a monster and family drama combo into a unique and solid standalone. Combined with John Krasinski's talent as actor, writer, and director, and a beautifully crafted story with a ruthlessly horrifying and intelligent creature in its wake. I give A Quiet Place 8.5 out of 10 stars.